Hey guys, let's do some upholstering. Today's video is about changing out those things in your home that you may not like or love and making them into something that you can enjoy and that you can be very proud of and that you can love again. So stay tuned, continue to watch. Thank you guys so much for clicking that button. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host here, Gigi Faison. Today, you guys, husband and hubby and I came. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host here, Gigi Faison. And as you saw by the title, we are changing out seat covers. So go ahead, grab your coffee or tea or whatever it is that you're choosing to drink and relax. It's a very short video, but we wanted to share this with you guys. Now the reveal for all of this will be coming really, really soon, but this is just a part of. So I want you to enjoy it um, and see what we're doing here. Okay, this is me feeling really, really excited about what's going on. And as I stated, this is going to be a part of the reveal as to when I share with you guys my makeover of my um, she shed. So continue to watch. So guys, what we are doing here is we are, um, well actually my hubby is doing the work here. I am holding the um, camera. Uh, Y'all know I'm the camera girl. So uh, when we are teaming up and working together, um, he is using a Phillips screwdriver to remove the um, seating from the frame um, so that we can uh, re-cover um, the cushion. Now, it depends upon your screws whether you will need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead, or an Allen wrench. Now with the older furniture, most of the time you will probably need a flathead or um, a Phillips. But with more of the new and modern furniture nowadays, it comes with that Allen wrench or they may call it a hex um, wrench. It's that L-shaped um, looking um, tool that they generally have in your bags of whatever it is that you are purchasing nowadays so it just depends now if you guys have um, some seating that you are wanting to maybe change out well we hope we will inspire you to do just that to give it a try it's really not that hard I think from um, what we're doing here this is the um, faux leather that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and it was actually a $25 a yard but they had it at 30% off um, of the yard of the um, material when I purchased it and I ended, ended up getting three yards um, I was told by one of the um, fabric stores that uh, for um, six chairs you will use about two and a half um, yards of uh, material but you know I wanted to leave room in case there was um, you know mishap mistake or whatever we would have that um, cushion to um, you know not to be so sometimes when you buy material and stuff like that and if you don't get enough and you go back and try to get the exact and they don't have it so I wanted to make sure that I got enough um, so that in case we did have an issue, we would have enough. Now it also depends upon your seating as to how much um, um, material you will need to buy. If your seats are much larger as some of the, the chairs are now, you might have to get a little bit more, but because ours are kind of small um, to medium, um, then the two and a half will be just perfect. I hope I cleared that up for you guys and also hope I'm inspiring someone to try something different um, to save a little bit of money. Stuff is expensive nowadays and you know this these things were gifted to me and all I need to do is give it a refresh. But you guys are going to get to see all of this really, really soon.
what you're feeling capture your body get your best side breathe in the world fake us a smile walk in the line it's fine but i hope one day you'll break So as you see here, you want to make sure as you're stapling that you're pulling tight, that you're keeping it um, kind of aligned all together. So what my husband does is he um, applies staples towards the um, base of the pool um, that is connected to the seating and then at the top. That way, that way it is sure to stay, um, stay together. So it's just a matter of just pulling it tight and making sure that you staple uh, your staples in an alignment. And then he'll go back and take the hammer and um, secure the staples a little bit better. So just continue watching the process. I promise you guys it's so easy. Perfection, what is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame. It's your time. Give me the messy, give me the pain. A rose will not grow without the rain. I want to be someone who says there's more than meets the eye. Show off your fantasy, reality. Whoa, that's yours, but I'll keep doing my. So these holes that we are pointing to you here are actually um, where the screws will go back into, uh, which will um, we will attach the cushion back to the frame, um, and just to show you that the holes are already there to screw your screws in. So you guys, we hope this has been an inspiration to you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And leave me a comment um, in the from comment start section. To finish, uh, about 15 minutes um, from start to finish. And that is removing the seating. What my husband is doing now is just replacing the seating back. And I will share that with you guys throughout the video. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you. And I thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you that continue to show love and support, I want to say thank you. Now, if you're new and you want to become a part of this family, you can just show me. If you want to be, become a part of this family, just go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and tap the notification bell twice so you'll be notified each and every time that an upload is made here. You guys, let me know what you think about um, our work, our workmanship in the comment section below. Be blessed, enjoy the music and the rest of this video. As I am your host, Gigi Faison, and we do welcome you into our space. All right, you guys, let me show you.